We are murderers right now. And if we kill this sheriff, so I think it's this sheriff. His gun drops and falls to the ground. Now you can actually make it um, anchored so it's not fall. Welcome back to a new Roblox Studio tutorial. So this is going to be part three for our murder mystery tutorial series. Um, it's going to be pretty short. We're going to really finish this off. Um, so right now, <clears throat> the only thing we really need net left for the murder mystery uh, game uh, is when the murderer dies, we want the gun of the murderer. I mean, sorry, when the sheriff dies, we want the gun of the sheriff to be dropped. And we want it so we can let other innocents pick up the gun and kill the murder. Uh, but yeah, that's literally all we're going to really be doing today. Pretty simple, pretty short. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So right now, as you can see, I have a... We, well, we have a knife and a revolver, and I also have a revolver clone. Now, what this is... Now, actually, you know what? Let's delete this. I'm going to show you how I made this. So this revolver clone is going to be the revolver the, the revolver that's going to be dropped. So right here is a revolver. And we're going to make a temporary model. Actually, let's turn this off real quick because uh, it looks bad. Okay, so this is the actual revolver. Or the revolver. Um, what we're going to do is, first of all, let's rename this to part. We don't want it to be a handle because if it's a handle, it's going to automatically equip when it's touched by a player. And we don't want that. Um, we only want it to be picked up by an innocent that's not dead, right? Um, or yeah, we don't want to accidentally be picked up by the, the sheriff when he dies. So what we want to do is name this part. <clears throat> don't name this handle. Put a particle emitter right here and make this like green, like how it's in like murder mystery games. Like this. Maybe make it like... Another darker green. Uh, this is good enough. Make it uh, maybe 0 0.7, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, and then spread angle will be 0 and 180. So it's like all over the place, like this. <clears throat> Speed. Let's make this. Nah, it's too fast. And then rate is going to be 25 and it's pretty good. So this is how the revolver is going to look like. Um, <clears throat> what else? I think that's it. All right. Let's rename this because we don't want it to have the same name as the actual revolver that's going to be equipped by the actual sheriff. Okay. So this is, this is how it's going to look like when a sheriff dies. It's going to drop this revolver and it's going to look like this. Now, um, we're going to make a script for this, um, but right now, let's actually make a script for the sheriff when he dies. So when the sheriff dies, we want to actually clone this and put it in the map, right? Put it in workspace and we can let other innocents uh, grab this and that's going to be another script. So for right now, let's go to start character scripts. Let's make a script. So local car character equals script up here. Local thumb humanoid equals car wait for child humanoid. Okay. Hum that died connect function. Okay. So when the humanoid is dead, right? Basically when the player dies, you want to see if the player has a gun. If the player has a gun, that means he's a sheriff, right? So uh da, 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 da. so first of all let's do humanoid the unequipped tools first so we can check the backpack if um okay and first of all let's get a player so local player equals game dot player uh and then player let's do five first child actually uh card name because the character name is the same as the player name if player then if player the backpack line for his child revolver so this is the name of the revolver of the gun if you name it something else then you would put this in instead whatever then so if they have a revolver then it's a local gun clone so gun clone is going to be the revolver clone we made right here local game that workspace or not replicate sword that revolver clone 
can clone that. Gun clone. Gun clone. The parent equal workspace. Or you should do game dot workspace. Gun clone dot part. Because that's the handle we renamed. That C frame equals um, let's actually do car dot humanoid. Humanoid, yeah. Humanoid root part, which is the the root part of the human of the character's humanoid. That's C frame. And then plus Victor 3 dot new. We're gonna make it a little bit above the character, right? Because the character is gonna die. And we also don't want the gun to be touched by the dead player. By the dead sheriff. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. So I think that should be it for the death script when that sheriff dies. Now for the revolver, revolver, eh, revolver clone, let's put a script inside this part. So local part equals script apparent. Local tool equals part of the parent. Tool is the like the actual revolver right here, right here. Um, okay. So we're gonna make a touch for uh, touch event. So part dot touch connect function. This is the uh, the part that hit the part that did touch the part or the part that touched the gun basically. So you want to check if the part that touched it belongs to a player, local player equals game dot players get player from character. The part that hit it and the parent, which should be the character if it of a player touched it. So if player, so if a player did touch it, then first of all, let's get the car. We'll pill player dot character. Local humanoid equals car super child humanoid. <clears throat> humanoid. Blah, 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 blah. Humanoid. Um so so if humanoid the health is greater than zero, meaning if the player is not dead, then okay, we, that's one if statement. Because when the sheriff dies, the, it could be a possibility that he can equip the gun when it's dropped, and we don't want that to happen. Um, and then also, I asked, I forgot. Um, we don't obviously want the murderer to grab the gun because that's that'd be a big problem. So we don't want the murderer to grab the gun. So we have to also check if the player is not a murderer. So I think what I did, because I it's been a while since I've worked on this game tutorial. So let's go back. So I think where did I? So the main <clears throat> there's a role and player. Okay, so there's role and player. So if player dot role dot value does not equal murderer, then so that should be it. Murderer. <laughs> we want to actually kind of check just in case. Ah, uh, where is the hmm, murder mystery system? So yeah, if it's not murder. So so roll that murder. So roll that value. We don't want it to be murderer. So. If the player is not a murderer, then we can give the 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 what's it called again? The player the gun right. Alright. So all we can do is game that replica storage. That revolver. Hello? So this is the actual revolver you wanna give to the player, the revolver uh the revolver tool. That parent will player that backpack. And then tool, we want to destroy the temporary clone, uh, the temporary uh, revolver clone. So destroy, ah, destroy. <laughs> okay, that should be it. That should be it. So we have the revolver, revolver clone, the revolver, the actual revolver tool, and this should be it. So right now we're gonna test this and see if it works. There was an error in the game, and it's because I actually spelled this wrong. It was supposed to be hum uh, and colon unequipped tools, not because I did human dot unequipped tools. It's supposed to be colon. 
So that's my bad. You should spell it like this. It's because it's a it's a function, basically. Um, but yeah, that's it. We are murderers right now. And if we kill this sheriff, so I think it's this sheriff. His gun drops and falls to the ground. Now you can actually make it um anchored so it doesn't actually fall to the ground, it stays up in the air. Um, but yeah, that's up to you. Um, so well, there's not enough uh there's not enough time left. So for the next round, let's try and pick it up as an innocent person. So we're innocent right now. And let's actually, so let's kill this guy. This guy should be the sheriff. So he's a sheriff. Let's go back to our innocent selves and let's pick it up. So right now, it's kind of hard to touch it. But yeah, now we've got the gun and I don't think, I'm not sure if this gun even works. This gun probably doesn't even work. Well, um, but yeah, if it's like, let's say, you know, ideally, if this gun works, you can kill the murderer and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more, uh be sure to like subscribe join our discord server we have a lot of fun there you can we, we do a lot of different events and um yeah i don't have the upload in a while but like it is what it is i kind of ran out of ideas give me like good ideas like new original ideas i might make a booth system tutorial soon but uh yeah so be sure to like and subscribe most importantly and i'll see you guys in the next one